while we, why people continue to jump on, just good morning. Thank you all so much for being on the call. It looks like we've got some new faces on the call as well. Um, for those of you that don't know, my name is Wendy. I work with all the six to 14 stars in the East region. And if you're kind of a newer coach that's on this call, that earned this call, just raise your hand so I know. <gasps> okay, everybody, everyone take yourself off mute. Everyone take yourself off mute. Give them a big congratulations for being and earning this call today. I mean, listen, <laughs> you all are one of the highest success earners on your team. So congrats on earning this call. You have the top coaches in the East region on this call. So leverage the time that you have with them. If you've got questions about a promo code or retention or recruiting or whatever, like this is your opportunity to ask those questions. Okay, let's get started. First of all, can we just talk about this video promo code? Oops. If you could put yourselves on mute, that would be amazing. Hello, Ms. Jolie, welcome back. <laughs> Can we just talk about the CEO promo code just for a moment? Do you want me to share some high level results with you? Would that be interesting to hear? I know where you already know where you did with your team, but collectively as a company, I'm gonna share some amazing numbers with all of you. You ready for this? Okay. So first of all, the launch was off the charts, like all of you off the charts. You did an exceptional job executing Carl's brilliant promotion. Because listen, that idea, that, he, that ideation literally happened less than 48 hours before all of you knew about this promotion. Like that's insane. So from ideation to execution and granite, there were hiccups. We'll be the first to acknowledge that, right? Some of you are like, yes, there are some hiccups. I got to tell you though, the size of this company and the, how you all were adaptable in order and pivot with your current teams and the CEO promo code was absolutely unreal. Okay. Some other numbers. We had over 620 coaches hit success club for the first time. Ladies, 620 coaches hit Success Club for the first time versus last month, which was 66. 66. That's incredible, right? Um, rank advancements. Who was on the national wake-up call yesterday? Okay. Did you hear how many diamonds that Darren called out? Like, it, it just, the, which was phenomenal. And, and I know a lot of you, I mean, 200 and 58 new diamonds. So many new diamonds popped and say, oh, awesome. So Sam, you're here from Lori's team. I mean, so many new diamonds popped, so many new emeralds popped, right? Like you saw the trickle effect with your teams. We had the highest rank advancements, as I mentioned, highest day ever of coach ads, highest day ever of coach ads outside of, our, uh, outside of the MBF launch highest ever. So that's just high level of how successful that program launch went. So I wanted to share that with all of you. Now let's talk. And in more specific, here's what I want to talk about. And this is why I was so excited for this call today is let's talk about, and I'm going to open up the floor and there's 45 of us. We can, we can do this. But what I'd like to focus on is what worked, right? What worked? What maybe did not work and what did we learn? And then we're going to go into retention and retention strategy, but it's really important. And here's why I'm asking the question for, for some of you may be thinking, well, why are we talking about this? Here's why this is not over yet. This is not over yet. These promos are not over yet. So it's really important that we really identify what worked with it. Where do we need to pivot? Where do we make, need to make some changes corporately? And how can we help all of you, um, you know, learn from this and get better as we continue with these promotions moving forward? Does that sound good? So let's start with, let's start with what worked. And feel free, you can post it in the chat. If you'd like, you can unmute yourself. Let's talk about, obviously, what worked. Because 
for all the things that didn't work, there was a lot of things that did work with this promotion. So let's start with what did work. Feel free to unmute, unmute yourself. I'll say, um, I, what really worked was making sure that I got on top of it with my challenge group with going live and then backing it up. I did an email drip campaign to all of my entire personally sponsored coaches, discount coaches, everyone to give them a heads up that it was coming, that it came <laughs> the day that it came. And then a reminder, if you're not going to use it, please pass it on. Um, and just the being able to have my hands on so many codes to turn around and like, like not to take Aaron's word, but like be the, the code B, like just passing it out to everybody was super effective for our team. Good. Good. Awesome. Okay. So live in your challenge groups, Jolie, email drip campaign. What else worked for some of you? I think the time frame created such urgency. Um, my power hour, like the, the night before was like so intense, so many people just going at it. Um, and I think it was also a mindset changed when it came to the price. It's like, it was so cheap that they were like, how do I not screen this? How do I not follow up so many times? Because it's so, um, it's so darn cheap. And you know what worked? I signed up two leagues as coaches that never works. Once again, the price point, like, I was like, how do you not get the nutrition plan? And I focused on that because most leads don't do Shakeology, don't uh, have the nutrition plan. So I'm like, for, 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 um, for the same price, here you are going to get the value of $500 worth of products. Yeah. Oh, can you do me a favor? Put your phones on mute, please. Jeanette, thank you. What else? Come on, all of you are leaders on this call. Speak up. You've got for, me, I, for me, I think it was the sample workout. I mean, they're all really good, but this one I thought was just outstanding. So teaching my team to personally message every single person on their drill down, just like, hey, don't know if you saw, but did you try that sample? And then literally handing it to them and saying, can you do it today or tomorrow? Very few people can do that sample and not be like, Oh man. So that's what really helped. I think. Awesome. Sample workout every day. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I think having a program and I think all of our programs going forward should have such a, um, a shareable social media aspect because I think that is so that has been to me the game changer with this program. Like, you know, it's very clear how to, you know, I know we always know how to share it, but like just specific shareable pieces. Um, and obviously it's, I think in the nature of the program that is such a joy filled in what the world needs right now, but that was huge. Um, I also think that rather than discounting packs $20 when they come out, just do a $20 code with urgency. People feel so much better when they get to put in a code and they're getting a sale versus if we just say that the price is this, they just think that's the price. Even if we tell them it's $20 off, it doesn't feel as special as like, I know every time I get like a discount code in my email, I'm like, I need to use that code before it expires. Where if we have like a month and a half of something $20 off, like it just doesn't make it quite as special. So I think those things were great. And um, yeah, and I think having uh, just, you know, like everyone else does, just sneak peek groups with creating a lot of FOMO and urgency and shouting people out that are trying it. I gave, I raffled stuff, a gift card to people who are like giving um, reviews of the sample. So I had this long list of reviews so people could see. I could share that on my social media. My other team members could too. Um, oh, everyone's loving this sample workout. So um, those are things that worked well. Yeah, awesome. Similar to what Shane was just saying. Great. Share, uh, social media shareables, love that. Um, what else? What else? So what for my discount yeah. coaches, what I did was I personally messaged each and every one of them. I did the email drip. I, did, I went live in our group, but there's nothing like that one-on-one -on -one message, especially with the discount coaches and having the conversation about the new program and the promo code. Like if you're not going to use it, I would love to bless somebody else with it. And then for everybody else, like customer wise, I, you could work out, you could do nine week control freak on your, like post that like on Facebook or whatever. And nobody cares about that. But I started doing the dance programs and everybody was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, whoa, this is okay. This is opening up a huge door. 
So sharing those on just like a regular Facebook post, like drew so much attention. Good. I think it also goes back to just simply uh, relaying your excitement as a leader to your team and just hyping it up and hyping, you know, the fact that like really educating the teams and letting them know like this is such a good value and here's why and really like empower them to express that to, you know, the people that they're inviting and having conversations with, um, but also reminding them that even the $160 packages are just as good of a value than this too, you know? So I think really just what helped my team was just how excited I was and it trickled down to them as well. Sure, sure. And sharing everything that you're doing personally, sharing that with your coaches so they could duplicate. Yeah. We're going to talk about that too, Kayla, in terms of you know, how do we share? How do we add value around the total solution in general, right? So hang tight, hang tight with that. Yes, Chris, I know you had something next. Um, I was just thinking about retention because obviously we want... Um, that whatever they purchase to continue into the next month. Have you ever thought about a promo code that they could use toward their next month's Shakeology, even if it was $10 off, just to keep them going with it and get one more month in their body and see the benefits? Yep. Um, something like that would be, I mean, I don't think we've ever done anything like that. So Chris, you bring up a brilliant idea. Actually, Lori, Megan's and I, we were talking about this a few, week, a few weeks ago, weren't we? Where'd she go? I can't see you on the page. Maybe you're on the next page. Um, so Lori was actually asking the exact same thing, right, Lori? You can unmute yourself. Yes, I have, I'm outside, um, so it's okay. loud, but yes, we were. <laughs> So, um, Chris, you bring up a valid point. I, I don't know what the likelihood is. I think right now, Carl, before we go public, right? Like he's trying to create momentum with the network. And that's why you're seeing these promo codes, really seeing, you know, how, how far can we push the envelope? So I do think that's probably um, up for consideration, Chris. I definitely wrote it down. Regardless, I wrote it down. So I think that's a great idea. Yeah, I think we have an insane opportunity there, Wendy, because I think it's almost the number one question that I get from people is, does Shakeology ever go on sale? And I'm like, nope, never has. Not in eight years. I don't know what to tell you. Like, and I, you just talk up the value. But even if we were to offer $10 off, you know what I mean? If we can do an entire challenge pack at the price cut that we did for the um, for this promo that we just had, I think that's huge. Um, are you talking about retention ideas yet? I, I popped on just a minute, a couple minutes late. Okay. Um, so I, our team did a lot of the same things that you guys did. We did the no code left behind. We did tons of power hours. We shouted out every time we added somebody as a coach, we utilized all of the coaches that were not using their codes. We used their codes to offer to, you know, other people. So what we're doing is to retain these coaches is prior to the customer kickoff on Monday, we're actually hosting a Thursday night um, get up launch group hype call. And so we're pulling in every single coach that signed up to do let's get up or got VIP access or whatever. And basically just we're, we're posing it as a get ready for the group. Here's what to expect. Here's how it's going to work. Yada, yada, yada. And then while you're here, Every single one of you has a coach account. So let's explain what that means. And we're going to just cover the fact that they get a discount and how valuable that 25% off is. The fact that they have a code to be able to add a friend. And so I'm challenging every one of them to spend between Thursday night and Sunday night thinking about one friend, one family member, one somebody that they can give their code to, to join us on Monday. And basically like, let's double down on the size of this group. Um, so it's gonna be posed. I think if I post it as a, this is a for you to learn about your coach account. But yeah, if you guys could put your phone on okay. I just need to put everyone on. Okay. Hang tight, hang tight. Okay, Ashley, everyone yeah. is now on mute. Okay, you're okay. good. 
Continue. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I just, I think that if we posed it as a, this is a business opportunity call for your coach account, probably only a third, if that of the people that signed up would come. But if we pose it as a, let's talk all about this group and get hyped up. It's going to be literally a 20 minute call. So the first five to eight minutes, I'm just going to be sharing about the group, how it's run. Cause it's all inside of VOD groups, what they can expect, how we're going to have a ball doing it. And then it's like, while you're here, let me tell you about the opportunity that you have with your coach account. Cause you might've just thought that you signed up and got a deal for a hundred bucks, but there's actually so much more that you can do with this. And if you need help, talk to your coach that signs you up. So like I have chill bumps, literally <laughs> just saying that. And I'm hoping that even one third of those coaches will turn around and be like, I have a promo code. This makes me feel cool. Like I can add somebody to do this with me. And so it will boost volume even more. But then I feel like sometimes when coaches get that first win, that first success club point, um, which is also like elite point boost, um, they all of a sudden feel empowered. Like I just got a paycheck. I just earned some money back. And like, this is cool. I could probably do this again. So uh, we'll see what happens. We've never done it before, but that's our plan. No, that's great. And you know, you went right to retention. Let's just go there. Why we're there right now, why we're talking about it. Um, okay. So a couple of questions were in the chat. First of all, Ashley, thank you for sharing. Anyone else in terms of ideas that you're doing? And I actually, I'd love for, for some of you to share some retention ideas. I also, just so you know, was on the superstar call yesterday. I actually asked Doug to be a part of the call. And, and I, I have a couple things that I want to share with some of you too. Just don't let me forget. But first, I want all of you to share some, your ideas in terms of what you are doing to help retain all of these new coaches that you've just added. And, um, you know, some of you have said, well, I'm kind of separating or identifying those coaches that really want to work the business, right? Versus those that don't. And what the superstars said yesterday, hold on, I'm trying to find it. They basically said, you know, they're treating everyone like business building coaches. They are treating everyone like real coaches. They are not, they are not going and identifying, okay, these are, you know, kind of self-selecting those that are business builders and those that are not. They're not doing that. They're treating everyone the same. Okay, enough about that. I'll go over that in just a moment. Who else would like to share some retention ideas that you are kind of thinking or you are in the process of implementing? It's all good, Lori. <laughs> Uh, landscape. Another, another dance party Saturday morning. Thank you, Lori. So doing a dance party Saturday morning to get the coaches fired up to bring their new friends, invite new friends to. They've all tried it for a week and now it's time to bring their friends. The challenger. Yep. May 3rd. Right. Awesome. Thank you, Lori. Who else so that hasn't maybe spoke yet? I can say what I tell my, my ladies, um, I actually make everybody commit to three months when they sign up. You have to give me three months to help you. And they're all willing to do it. I think like, you have to do follow the Shakeology, you have to follow the nutrition. And so everybody's been doing it so far. So it seems to be helping for me. I, I make them make a commitment to themselves and a commitment to me. So what does that look like, Carla? So uh, depending on what there's what they sign up with, you know, nutrition is a real big deal for me because um, I'm 50 and I'm going through menopause. So that's really my, my niche. Mm -hmm. um, and I've, you know, I've gone through a lot, you know, with different, you know, throughout the years, you know, keto, you know, I have all that stuff. And so none of that really works, but these programs work for somebody like me. And so I tell them, you know, I, and I don't care what age they are. Give me three months because you cannot affect change in a month. You're going to get frustrated and you're going to want to get up, get, you know, give up. But if you give me three months and I make them, you know, say, Hey, yes, I verbally make them say, I'm giving you three months. And then I send them the enrollment. But I don't send them the enrollment until they commit to me for three months. So, um, most of them, yeah, I would say 90% of them are sticking with it. There's a couple that have popped off, but um, I just make them commit to me and it seems to be working. Okay. So Carla, thank you. So your big thing is committing to three months. Um, what else? I wonder something. I've never had a ton of, um, I've never had a ton of luck with like the loyalty cards. 
You know what I mean? I don't know if anybody else has, but I wonder if we could put together some type of a new coach loyalty card where it's like their, their sign up is one punch. So they get it and immediately get to punch. I mean, I don't know. I'm a box checker, Enneagram three, like, yeah, I, I like checking boxes. Um, they check the box that they got their sign up. They get to check another box for um, bringing on a friend and using their promo code. They get to check another box of their second month of performance or Shakeology. And by doing those three things, we get them in a drawing or do something. I mean, I don't know. I Like I said, I've never had a ton of luck with it, but I'm a box checker. And I wonder if it's like, hey, you are one of like 40 people that has this in our entire network right now, like our entire network. Um, and these are the opportunities. And I don't know, like a $50 Amazon card. I do stupid things for a $50 Amazon card, like to bring on a friend and get a paycheck. And like, you know, they could even check the box when they get their first paycheck or something like that. I don't know. It might take 20 minutes in Canva to throw something up, but um, it could be fun. And even actually now something that could be presented in that like kickoff call. Yeah. Okay. So Kayla, Ashley, thank you. Kayla says, you've got a coach here, right? Talk about that. If is that something that you're that you're open to sharing by chance? I don't know if she she's actually on this call. Jess, oh. <laughs> I don't know if she's available to talk. She's at work, but oh. <clears throat> are you there, Jess? Okay, I thought she said something. Anyways, um, basically what she was doing, she's literally like my strongest diamond um, has been since she started in August, and so she got the idea of doing like a loyalty card program type of thing. Um, so basically for Q1, she just wanted to test it out and just to encourage people to continue purchasing. And so when, as long as they stayed active, so $50 or more, and she explained all of that to them, um, they would go, I think into an entry for a drawing or they, or she would gift them something. I don't really remember Jess, if you hear me just type, correct me. Um, but it really works for her. Um, she, like I said, she's, she's, she's a very, very solid diamond. And, um, we've been talking with my team about, Hi, so I don't know, but yeah, she said, she said that really worked for her. Is anyone else doing something like that? Or has somebody done this before and either it worked, didn't work, et cetera. Bingo card, Brooke. Okay, Brooke, are you? Go ahead. Um, it's funny that she just put the bingo card in my monthly groups. Every time someone signs up as a coach or a challenger, I have a bingo card, and that bingo card they have to post a selfie because anybody can check off a bingo card and say they did whatever is on there. But to keep them for that first thirty days to make sure their Shakeology is still coming, I feel like that's. Most of my biggest hangup is the Shakeology coming, but the bingo card has held them accountable and the sweaty selfie every day. So they have to take that selfie of them working out so that one of the bingos and then Shakeology or their Energize or whatever. Um, and then if they've invited a friend. And so that's kind of been like my retention within the first 30 days to keep everyone at least getting something for the first 30 days. And then um, that bingo card every week um, I look at it every week and I, every Sunday night, I do like a big party on Sunday nights, um, in my challenge group and with my coaches and everyone, um, whoever wins that week gets a $25 gift card of their choice. So it's kind of like they get to post that gift card, show that they got it, who got it. And then I rotate every week with that for the first 30 days of everyone. Okay. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Okay, so I'm just looking at the chat right now. All right, so Kayla, obviously she's at work, right? In terms of what she did. And, and I know she kind of typed that up. If, if, if she's willing to share that kind of offline, I'd love to share that with a group. Would that be helpful? Just so, I mean, the rest of us, if that's something you want to utilize, obviously you can utilize it. And if not, that's fine too. But it just gives you something additional to do something additional not to do, but to have right in your arsenal. So, okay. Okay. What else are we doing to retain? Perfect. Thank you, Kayla. 
So I'm doing kind of like what Erin um, is doing. It's a 30 hard-ish challenge. Um, and I just kind of found out that if you are a coach, you can get the digital access of the Let's Get Up challenge. Um, so I'm kind of suggesting that the coaches do that. Um, and what we're gonna do is two workouts a day. So the first workout has to be at least 30 minutes long. The second workout is gonna be 20 minutes outside. And I'm suggesting the Shanti Let's Get Up you know, to do it outside. Um, but we're just kind of tweaking it and making it our own. So we've had a bunch of people that, you know, signed up to want to do that as well. Awesome. Okay. You all know what she's talking about, correct? Okay. All right. Listen, I don't want to assume anything. I don't want to assume anything. Just want to make sure. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much, Amanda, for sharing that 30 hard ish challenge. Love it. Okay. What else? Listen, I know there are some brilliant minds on here. Would love to hear what some of you are doing outside. So bingo card, yes. Everyone wants to see the bingo card. Ashley, you're funny, by the way. Tic Tac <laughs> with your second month in the middle. That's good. That is good, sister. That is good. Okay. Um, what else? Come on. There's 60 plus of you that are on the call. What are some things that you're doing? Don't be afraid to speak up. Oh, and I see you, Kim. Hello. She's like, don't call me out. Do not call me out. I'm doing a, a Facebook chat for those that want more nutritional support. And I'm just adding so much value, making sure that I'm looking at their foods or posting, um, what they're eating they're I'm having them do their menu the night before. Um, and just that extra accountability, because at the end of the day, they're going to turn into coaches if they get results. So it's all result driven. Like, what can I do? We're going to have weekly calls. Uh, we had to get started right call. Uh, we had a webinar. We're doing zoom workouts every morning, probably on Saturday as well. Okay. 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 All right. So, any, anything else before? I was going to share two things from the Superstar call yesterday. Anyone else that wants to share anything? It's awfully quiet. Awfully quiet. Yes. Just, uh, just a thought. Um, I don't know if this was in one of the um, messenger threads, but when those promo codes come out, it's a great deal. Um, but the other side of that is we lose our full commission. So is there any way to be able to get our full commission um, or no? <laughs> I don't know how, how giving Carl is, but uh, just a thought that, I mean, it does, you know, it does help, help us, but then I don't know, I guess we're losing. I Can guess. I tell you how I leveraged that with my team? Yes, please. The fast start plus bonus. If you get five coaches to sign up in any rolling five week period, you get a hundred extra dollars. So I was like, there you go. You want your full commission, sign up five coaches. Um, and we had a, we had a lot of coaches working for that. And, and not only that, but if you're a serious coach with yourself and a spouse account, then you can do it two times. So right. just throwing that out there. No, oh, thank you. Absolutely. Yes. Without a doubt. Okay. I am anyone else before I share just the couple of things that the girl shared on the call yesterday. Are you like anxiously awaiting? All right. I just am um, thinking just staying really dialed into the success club tracker because your clients are following you. And if they see that you're drinking Shakeology every day, if they see that you're doing the performance line every day, just, just being super dialed in with that and just, um, you know, and then also just loving on all your challengers to make sure they're getting results. And I love what Amanda's doing where she already has something else for people to look forward to. And the, the bus is going <laughs> there, something fun to do. And in order to get there, you got to be active, you know, so it not one, the FOMO, not one to be left behind and just building so much hype around that in your social media and in your groups. Well, and I think an onboarding for a new customer is important. And I don't know if anyone has one that's super simple, like a checklist, but think about all the, we're asking these quote 
customers to bring someone on? What's the follow up with that? Like us as leaders, like how are we really adopting that person as ours? Do, does that quote discount coach know? Okay, add them to the groups, tell them, you know, shout them out. Is anyone checking in with them? So I think there's, for me at least, I have a breakdown in how, how is the, you can go deep into your downline. How are they adding these people and supporting them? And I think that's why we get a lot of like one monthers. So I know that's one thing I'm working on in a push group with Lori is we need a customer, super simple onboarding process. Step one, you sign them up. Step two, you add them to the group, you shout them out. Every Sunday, here's a quick little script. How are you? What can I help you with? What's one of your goals for this? You know, maybe having a flow desk email go out. But I'm more worried about we're bringing on all these, hopefully, people with these codes. But really, their coach is a customer. So I think in the future, I'd love a call to address even that. Yeah. Shane, you bring up a good point. And I, Lori, we were kind of just going back and forth yesterday about creating. I know one of the things you guys are working on is creating that checklist for, for the onboarding process for your new customers. Does anyone have anything like that that they're currently utilizing? I know, Ashley, you just mentioned, oh, Amy. Amy, so you've got a Linktree checklist? Yeah, so anytime like, um, like a a discount coach brings somebody on, I say, awesome, so cool. Here is a link tree. And it's just like the link tree for Instagram, you know, like what we do with that, except it has, make sure you follow us on Facebook, join our Facebook group. This one joins our bod group. This is how you take your weight. This is how you take your measurements. This is a six day meal plan to get really quick results. Like it's just like a simple checklist for link tree. So then I just send that to my discount coach and just say, make sure you send this to uh, your new customer to get them started right. So is that something, Amy, just, and I'm going to just ask, is that something that you would be willing to share? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Thank you. She's like, I'm going to do it right now before I forget. I know. No, you're awesome. Thank you. Okay. So Shane, thank you for bringing that up. Anything else? No. Okay. All right. So let's talk. I'd like to share two things. Most of you said that you were on the national wake up call yesterday, right? So she shared some good nuggets on that national wake up call. Have you seen there is, she's already posted like her, she walks through the five step process that she does for her, like what she does with her post. Did you guys see that? It's actually posted on the champs page. If you haven't gone in there, it's posted her five-step process. So go in there and download that. If you haven't watched the National Wake Up Call, I encourage you to do that. She has some great, great ideas. And so just that's kind of one thing. The other thing is going back to the Superstar Call yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so that you guys can see this. So Trina shared this with all of us yesterday. And really what she's trying to do is shorten the distance. First of all, she added a significant amount of new coaches to her team, like insane amounts, as most of you did as well. <laughs> um, she opened this up to her, obviously, entire downline. And her, again, objective was to really shorten the learning curve that it takes from a new coach to really sending share a cart. And so these are some examples that she shared and I can send this obviously in the chat as well, but just, you know, coaching, you guys can see my screen, correct? Okay, perfect. She shared, you know, just some ideas and some examples of, you know, getting everyone connected to the larger team page, number one, like going all in and, and giving them some examples because they don't know where to start. So she, with her diamonds and her team got together and, fig and really came up with some examples of social media conversations and inviting language and what that looks like. So tell specific stories about the people you're helping. Don't ever think it, send private messages. Here's the thing. A lot of you are already doing this anyways. This is just, a, if you would, just a systematic approach that she's utilizing for her team. Then sharing the story 
the total solution and the invitation, just a simple outline, okay? I remember when I was this, telling about specific moments. Again, this is not in just her words. These are just an simple outline for the invitation, okay? If I'm going too fast, let me know, but again, I can send this to you as well. This is how I feel now. You can do this with me, really giving them that confidence and instilling in confidence in those, in your new coaches, customer, you know, whatever you want to call it, um, coaches or discount coaches, whatever you decide, whatever they decide that they are. Then she talks about the story, the solution, the invitation with some examples. Here, here's when. I remember when I was eating, I felt tired. This is what changed. This is how I feel. I'd love to share this with you. So again, some more examples on the story, the solution, invitation, and then three kind of main parts of the story that she put together. So again, I'm not gonna, here's her story, here's the solution, right? Here's the story, here's the solution, here's the invitation that they have, that they're giving and they're, that they're sharing with others. So testimonial post, um, someone you've helped, for example, me, so-and-so, she's a working mom, she's reached out to me because, again, just some scripts for her team to give them some confidence. So that's really what she was doing here. Uh, fast forward, personal journey post, when I joined, I was looking for this. So really just examples, and this is, there's quite a few pages here. I'm not going to go over all of these coach story, personal growth, post, what she was looking for, um, an income post. When I joined, I wanted to get this. I didn't realize I was able to do so much more than that. So there's quite a few pages that are in here. Okay. And again, I'm happy to share this with all of you if that makes sense. But in essence, what she's trying to do, again, shorten the distance of taking them from that new coach just sending a share a cart, that's number one. Number two is what, what I mentioned earlier, is she is treating everyone, and Holly mentioned this as well, they are treating everyone as they are quote unquote real business building coaches versus saying, hey, we just signed up 100 and some people on my team, 200, 300, whatever that 50, whatever that number was, I, I know all of them are not gonna work. We don't know that. You guys know that. You don't know if they're gonna work or they're not gonna build this business at all. So treating everyone like real coaches, have them share a post about what, without having to decide whether or not they're a business builder or not. So those were kind of some things that they shared on the call yesterday. Um, Molly Aslan shared, she's going, you know, like all of you are going live on her team page, just sharing the energy with them. A weekly kind of coach, what is coaching webinar? They're doing that as well, led by their diamonds. And they're doing that starting, starting this week. And then really, how do you hit Emerald within the first week? So they're really focusing in on how do you hit Emerald week one with all these new coaches that you've just added to your teams. I will absolutely share that. I will absolutely share that document so that you have that. Those are just, that was one example. And then the other example that I was going to share, but it's again, it's already posted the champs page. Um, from her yesterday with the National Wake Up Call. So that's in there. I don't need, need to review that with you, but there's really some great examples that she shares that she walks through the five parts of a post that she does for all of her new coaches. Perfect. Alicia, thank you for sharing. Okay, can we talk about this now? One of the things we talked about earlier is some, some benefits of that CEO promo code. What worked? Now let's talk about what can we, we can talk about what didn't work. I think we already know what didn't work. I mean, we can talk about it if we want, but there's nothing we can do about what didn't work with the CEO promo code. Um, what did we learn? What did you all learn as a result of doing that promo code with your teams specifically? What did you learn? What did your team learn? Because this is important because this makes, come up again, meaning this promo code again. So let's talk through this. What did we learn about the code? I'll share. I think what was really, really cool was just to see the surge in confidence that it gave coaches, right? Um, 
and especially newer coaches too, because for those of us who have been around for a little while, we kind of like know the ropes. It's not super hard for us to get someone to get a challenge pack, right? Whether it's 160, 220. For a newer coach, they may have a little bit more difficulty with it. And that's why it's easier for them to do a three month subscription, you know, a 14 day free trial, a year subscription to BOD. Um, but getting them plugged in at that hundred dollars, getting them some supplements, it, it just really boosted their confidence. And it was just really cool to see that. Um, so that was something that, you know, my team kind of learned, but also just like putting themselves out there more. And they had, they had something really cool to offer. You know, they really saw the value in it. They saw how huge the discount was. And I think it just really gave them um, a push to go out there and talk about it more and to invite more um, to our group, which is really cool. Yeah. yeah, I think everyone will collectively hands down would say it's that confidence piece, right? Like having that confidence and that sense of urgency to know, hey, you've got a couple of days to really leverage this promotion. Now is the time. So, okay, what else? Thank you, Haley, for sure. Urgency, yes, without a doubt. What else, what, what else did you learn kind of going through this? I'll go. Well, yeah. I think the biggest thing too is one exclusivity of it just being one code per person. So then you do have that sense of urgency, but also realizing that they're truly capable of helping people and sending out the invites um, and it also gave us, too, an idea of those who didn't use the code, maybe like they need to tweak what they're saying. Um, but even though we gave exactly what to say to people and how to get them started and getting them into our info group, um, but it also kind of gave us an idea of, you know, what's working for some people and then what's also not working for others. Um, and one thing that we did was just go to everyone that they invited into our info group and telling them about the code as well as, and it worked out perfectly too with the launch of a new program, which I think really helps with adding new coaches and why it was so successful was because it was with the launch. Um, and that really helped to getting more people and getting them excited. And some of the things that we're doing in our info group is like having, um, we're calling it movers versus groovers because some people are just like, they're weightlifting, they're moving, you know, they're not quite the shaking your butt and twerking type of people, which is totally okay. Um, but we're kind of making it fun with the weight training plus the dancing. And it's just a whole new different style of program, um, which I really love it. But anyway, I digress. Um, but I just think it's going to be really helpful too of getting people started in inviting to that info group. And then we kind of converted those people from the info group into um, coaches and getting them excited and pumped and ready to go by posting those shareable moments in there, by posting the workouts, the, some of the weight training stuff in there so they can see both sides. Um, but overall, that definitely helped with having that launch with the codes and then the exclusivity of only one code per person. Um, but yeah, that's just what really helped us. And the conversations too, what people are actually saying um, and giving them what to say step by step and this is how you go this is how you start that conversation here's how you do it with excitement and not just like super salesy but it's like oh i got one code i know we've been talking for a while I know you've been wanting it especially those who couldn't afford it and um, getting them started that way yeah yeah well i think that's so key and all of you come probably agree to this and this is why i think why trina put this together is a lot of them don't know what to say to your point and it's guiding them giving them some structure obviously again, structure, you're not getting scripted in whatever you're, but just giving them some concrete examples of how to share and what that conversation looks like, right? So that's good. Alicia, thank you. I just love seeing so many people on my team just take massive action mm -hmm. and how massive action is not scary. It's actually fun when you get into the side of momentum. And I also love that they walk through a ton of fear because of the, you know, the, the deadline, the urgency of it, the incredible offer. And I feel like confidence is, you, you're not born with it. Right. It's, it's a muscle that you build through taking massive action, through failing your way and through walking through a crap ton of fear. And I feel like what happened for the people that really took advantage of this, they got three days worth of personal development on themselves 
to be able to build, build that confidence muscle to just to keep, keep the momentum going in their business. They're like, what did I do? What did I do back in April that built this team? What did I do? And then you can just, that's, I think that's duplicatable mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to create urgency, create massive action, create all those things with or without a promo code. Yeah. So how are you all now that you have this massive, right? These new coaches. Now you have some momentum going with your team, with the massive action. How are you leveraging that and that momentum that you built last week to taking that into this week, to taking that into next week with the customer launch? I'll share something. Um, sure. Just because I feel like my team was kind of struggling after this because in conversations, people would sign up their first coach and then they would have a conversation with me and be like, well, they're just in for the discount. They're probably going to cancel next month. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you can't have that mindset. You never know what this is going to do for their lives and the impact it's going to have over the next week, two weeks, three weeks, so on and so forth. And so right now, I really just think focusing in our groups on nutrition and our supplements and just helping them really understand the importance of those things to have that retention, to help them understand the discount that they have at hand, talking about, like you said, that $10 off promo code that they get, like, that's incredible for $130 right now. Like you get everything. I'm sure most of us were here with like DVDs when you got literally one set of DVDs for 160 bucks. Um, so I think that that's just really, really important for all of us to be touching on. And so I think it'd be very valuable if we had calls for nutrition people who are really awesome at retention um it's something that i'm definitely working on but also just helping them see the value of it too yeah okay so you just mentioned Haley. i mean talking about the total solution right it's not just about the, the workouts it's not just about nutrition it's around the total solution so how are you if not i mean start thinking about this but how are how are we or how are you adding value around the total solution with these new newbies so to speak Do you want me to talk? Or are you asking that as like the whole yeah, general? No, anyone, anyone. I know you were looking for some ideas, Haley. I mean, speaking around about nutrition. So for some of you, I mean, I'd like to hear from somebody that maybe hasn't spoken yet. Come on, be bold. I have a really big nutrition focus in my group. That's actually, so I'm a 2 be girl through and through. So our philosophy in our group is exercise is extra credit. So, um, you know, I don't have an easy answer, but I'm like Jolie, I use Flowdesk. So I do a lot of email campaigns, email drips to people. And when they join my group, they're initially getting two emails from me. One is um, obviously an invite to the accountability group. I use bod groups. And the other one is a drip that essentially takes them through a nutrition focused email series. There's four emails in it. Um, it goes one every like four to five days, depending on um, if they sign up as a coach or as a customer. But the very first one everyone gets, which is to help them focus on the tools that they currently have, because I want them to immediately jump into the nutrition program. I don't want them waiting for their package. I don't want them to wait until they get Shakeology. I, want, I mean, I just got an email, I just posted on my Instagram story saying a girl who joined this week, she's down 10 pounds um, and she hasn't even received her Shakeology yet. And it's like, okay. that's where I want the focus to be in our group because I know that if I can get them super dialed in with their nutrition, I know I can get them results. And then obviously with fun programs like Let's Get Up, you know, I'm excited to integrate that. So I always push my start date out anyways, but our start date as a crew is May 10th. So when I sold um, or when I help people get started with the Let's Get Up challenge pack, what I did is I added a three-day refresh in there for every single package. Mm -hmm. I did it without Shakeology because I said they already would be getting it. And so we're going to be doing a three-day refresh group on May 3rd through the 5th. And then we're all kicking off with Let's Get Up on May 10th. And what I have found to be true is that that gives enough time for people who are like me, who are not the jumpers. I'm not the person that would be sold something and immediately jump into action. I want time to kind of like understand it all and wrap my head around everything. So I wanted to give everyone enough time to really wrap their head around to be mindset, which is what I generally help people through. Um, so that first email that they receive from me actually has, it's about a 20 minute video of me explaining the tools that they have at their fingertips right away. And so instead of jumping into like, the dynamics of the group, it's like, here are the tools that you have, let's get you started. So it takes them through, here's how to find, and I did it on Zoom, I just recorded myself talking. Uh, I showed them like, here's how to find the nutrition videos, 
here's the difference between the two programs. I typically walk women through 2B mindset, but if you prefer more parameters, here's how ultimate portion fix works. I show them where to find them. I tell them to follow that person on social media so that they can get more tips and tricks from them. Um, I walk them through how to actually participate in the group. Um, and yeah, it just kind of walks them through the different tools that we have to offer. And then the follow-up email to that is just more of like, here's some meal prepping ideas. Here's, you know, here's another meal plan that you can look at. I upload meal plans every week that I've downloaded from Mompreneur, um, showing them where to find those things. So it's really simple, but the thing that I love about Flowdesk, and I'm not promoting them whatsoever, but if you have something like that or MailChimp or something like that, the thing that I love is, you know, these women stay engaged because I'm ending every single email with a question. So, you know, the first one's like, okay, so let's make sure you have everything you need. You know, the question might be like, do you currently have a set of dumbbells or whatever, you know, I would want them to have, like, do you currently have that? And do you, are, will you let me know that you received this so that I can make sure you're getting plugged in where you need to be. But then the next one's like, okay, let's talk about meal prep. And then it ends with another question that they're, I'm asking them to respond to. So that's where a lot of that communication is continuing. So I'm holding them accountable in the accountability group every day, but those emails are much more personal to their experience. So that's been working really well for me to keep them yeah. engaged. That's awesome, Katie. So you said it's a four, so four step email that you send them, right? Okay. I love that. Exercise is extra credit. No, that's so good because I think we, you know, kind of don't really stress the importance of the, that nutrition component and what all of you have in your, in your toolbox, because that is so, so key. So many people need that. So how else are some of you engaging them with, with obviously around our products and our nutrition specifically? I.e., you know, Shakeology, the goal is to get them right. So what are some of the things that you are doing to do that? I have an example. Um, each month I have like a different focus in my boot camp. Um, it's an ongoing boot camp from month to month. But um, in February, one of the things that we did was the image that we shared in BOD groups for our daily check in was a screenshot of our tracker. Um, and I thought that that was super helpful. And I've got a lot of people that like wouldn't usually track, myself included, um, tracking again and really dialing that in. So I thought that was super helpful. Yeah. Great, great. I mean, Ashley, to your point, I mean, that's what I was looking for, right? Like, what are we doing in terms of, you know, what are we offering them? Are we sharing our Shakeology recipes, things of that nature? You know, choosing nutrition program. Why Shakeology? What's the value of Shakeology? We've also done a feature on, a, I think the Shakeology is cool, but like not just shakes. Uh, there, are, I hear so many times like, I don't like shakes or I've done so many shakes before. So we also share like Shakeology, uh, like molten lava chocolate cakes and peanut butter cups and pancakes and muffins and things like that. So baking and shakes, but then also we've done uh, months where rather than like we load all of these recipes into a unit or a, what do they call now guides? Um, we also do like an ingredient a day. And I'll ask like some of the rock stars in the group to help me like each pick one ingredient that's your favorite and like throw up a little post about it. So we, uh, we don't do that all of the time, but usually like once a year we'll do like a rally around Shakeology and why it's so good. Awesome. No, that's good. And then Kim, you just posted something. You, where are you, Kim? Will you explain that real quick? I'm here, but I can't get my video to work for some oh, reason. Okay. It's like okay. making me nuts. I restarted my computer like 10 times. So I lead with nutrition, kind of like Katie said, except I'm a UPF girl through and through. So I'm the opposite. Um, but I do a nutrition one-on-one -on -one call with my um, entire downline every, the second Tuesday of every month. <laughs> um, and I really just kind of go over on this, like, foundational principles of nutrition. Um, I stress how, you know, 80% of the battle is nutrition, 20% of it is fitness. And, um, I do a deep dive into Shakeology every month as well. So, um, a little different than what Ashley said, I do, um, it's like one Saturday, uh, cause I think, you know, that's when engagement is terrible in my group. So I post it and then they can spend all day Sunday researching the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Um, they get for every ingredient that they research, they get an entry, um, like a raffle entry into a chance to win a $50 gift card. Um, and I also just really try to like spotlight the products from an angle that people like actually care about. Cause I feel like nobody gives a crap about Shakeology for protein. 
Um, and I don't think many people care about recover for like muscle repair and, and uh, synthesis and everything. So I just kind of like talk about it as a chance to eat chocolate for free on our meal plan. Um, and you know, like hydrate for, um, hangovers or like hydrate for migraine prevention or migraine treatment. Like, I just feel like trying to meet people where they're at. Like most people really don't care about energize as a pre-workout. Most women like aren't really into supplements. So I've just really tried to kind of spotlight the products from different angles in my challenge group. Um, and then like Ashley said, we have like a ton of, um, like recipes, we have a whole PDF that's ways that you can enjoy these products as treats, especially with Recover and Shakeology. Um, so some of my girls have turned Recover into like a Hershey bar. Some of them have done the Recover pudding or the Recover brownie batter, um, and then like the Shakeology mug cake. So we're always sharing things like that and just trying to show people like these are healthier alternatives to those treats that we all are guilty of indulging in. Um, and then for me, again, just really that nutrition 101 call has been a great chance for me to give them the foundational principles um, to get them started. Because I think nutrition is very, very, very overwhelming for most people. And the reality is they're not going to watch those videos, right? So I think the videos are great. Most people don't watch them. So I've really tried to kind of make my own little training course that simplifies it and dulls it down um, into like an hour presentation. And again, I do it for my entire downline. And by the end of it, the goal is that they can go right up their meal plan, um, and feel confident and get started. And I stress them, like, I, I just like exercise is extra credit. I tell them, um, exercise is a bonus. Like, I really don't give a crap what program you're doing because that's 20% of it. If your nutrition isn't on point and you're not using the products, the program doesn't matter. Um, so that's worked really well for me. And it's really, I guess kind of helped my downline to focus on nutrition and like leading with it. Like, I don't care if you're doing Peloton quite frankly, cause that's not what I do. You know, like I, I'm not here to help you press play in a workout program. Um, my goal is to help you get set up with nutrition and to have you use products that are going to maximize your success and make sure you're fueling your body for the demands you're putting on it. Awesome. Kimberly, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So good. Okay. You know, we're talking about nutrition, but yeah, all of you cake pops. I mean, it's like squirrel cake pops. Amazing. All right. All right. So you can share the cake pop recipe if you've got that in there. Kimberly, thank you for sharing, obviously, spotlighting your products in your challenge groups, feeling confident so that they can go out and, you know, leverage the nutrition component first and foremost, then the, the fitness component secondarily. Okay, listen, I know we're closing in on time. Here's what I would say for all of you, again, for all of the newer coaches that are on this call, congratulations on earning this call. Um, you have the best of the best that are on this call right now. They just shared some brilliant best practices with all of you. Here's what I would say before I move on to announcements is this is a season of growth. Remember that this is a season of growth. You got the program launch, the customer launch on Monday. You've got momentum building in your business with your business right now. So yes, why we talk about retention, the also thing is let's build on the momentum that you guys have built starting last week. Okay. Now, a couple of announcements. Here's why I asked all of you, like what worked, what didn't work with the promo code? What did we learn? Well, guess what? Tomorrow, Carl is going to go live on the round table. You might want to listen in. You might want to tune in. That's all I'm saying. Um, he's going live on the round table tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific, which is 11 central for all of my, or not, sorry, 11 Eastern, 10 o'clock central tomorrow. He's going to go live on the round table. If you are available, I would just say tune in. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Tune in. All right. So um, noted, fully noted. A couple of other things is... Just a couple of other announcements. Remember, so next week's call, we had it slated for creating diamonds, but some of you also sent me a note and said, can we just leave it open? What do you all prefer for next week? We can go with the topic that we had at hand, or do you wanna just leave it open? And we just kind of share some best practices around whatever you all wanna focus on. Post in the chat what you prefer. Both, all of it. <laughs> 
Perfect. All right. Done. Okay. I'm going with whoever put the message in first. That's good. All right. So we're going to go with both for next week. Um, focused energy bevy launch. Let's talk about that for a moment. Like that launch, who's, please tell me you've tried it. Please tell me you've tried it. What do you think? What's your, what's your initial response? Awesome. Okay. Some of you so much better. All right. Oh, really? Really? You think so, Ashley? You think it's better? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I will tell you this, that launch has been extremely successful. We have already sold through our entire month of April forecast. We did that last week. So it's doing very, very well in terms of, I wish I could share with you the numbers, but just know it's selling very well. If you haven't got a hold of that, now is the time. Now is the opportunity to do that. Okay, obviously we've got the customer launch on Monday. Leverage that. I mean, this should be everyone jumping on the bandwagon. This should be the program of the summer, of the summer. Um, and then last but not least is virtual super weekend. I mean, that's coming up. I mean, really um, super weekend. Um, virtual, not virtual super weekend, virtual Summit, for the love of God, dear God. Okay, Summit, virtual Summit. Listen up, we've got 22 plus thousand coaches that have already registered for Summit. It's gonna be great. It is gonna be awesome sauce. So with that being said, listen, thank you all so much for being on the call. I will share a copy of the recording. Next week, we will go over both of those things or see all of the above. And with that, again, all of you, thank you so much for your time today. I will share that document in the actual thread. So I'll make sure that I share that so that you can share that with your coaches. Sound good? Awesome. Kaylee, thank you for sending. She just sent, if you, before you log out, she just sent a copy of the Canva. So copy that so that you have that kind of her bingo card, copy that, and then um, save that as a bookmark. Other than that, all of you enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great week.